Here of your own free will, Stefan? Or did they lock you up too? Bet you're thinking about food. What you'll eat once you're free. Mutton leg. That's what I'm dreaming of. Well roasted on the outside. Nice and juicy in the middle. Are you the lout from Rivia? Yep, I'm that lout. Come with me. You're to be sentenced. To what? To shut it. What am I, the town crier? Hands behind your back. Now let's go, and no funny business. Get ready. Soon all your problems will be solved, once and for all. Do you know where this leads? No. Hope it's the exit, though. You guessed it. The thing is, there are different kinds of exits. Some walk this path to freedom. Others walk it straight into eternity. Which am I headed for? I don't know. Yet one thing is certain. You will never walk this path again. Mark Dubois, you are hereby judged guilty of trampling Alice Valref, the cupbearer's wife, while on horseback. The woman's condition is critical. It was an accident. I was riding fast, it's true, but she jumped out in front of me. In light of the above, there can be but one sentence. Death by decapitation. No, I didn't do anything! Help! There must be witnesses! Off with his head. Next! Paul, the Witcher, take him to the tower. That's an order. An order's an order. Guess you're not next after all. Follow me. You're supposed to follow me. Why do you make me watch that execution? So you'd know this is no alms house for lost orphan boys. Wanted me to think I was next. Enjoy that? Getting a rise out of folk? You guessed it. The harlot's hounds that land here, I detest them. So I do everything in my power so they'll know they're in the clink, not on holiday. We'll teach you discipline! I've brought the prisoner, sir. Unbind him, and leave us. Greetings, Witcher. Your face... doesn't look good. Though, it looked even worse last time I saw you. I apply an Arnica extract. I can hardly feel it anymore. But my scars pale in comparison to the fate Sianna met with. The fate that was your doing. I trusted you. And how did you repay me? Consider it, Witcher. Why do you think the Duquesa had Siana hidden away to start with? Can you guess? I'm sorry. Might not believe me, but... Couldn't have predicted that turn of events. Certainly never wanted that. Enough. We shall speak of it no more. Guess there's been a decision in my case. Truly. Is that all you care about? Your own hide? Not only. Also care how the Duchess feels, for example. And I hope that, unlike you, she doesn't blame this all on me. A court hurt your case, not Anna Henrietta. It was a difficult case to decide. True, you killed the Beast of Beauclair, but you failed to prevent the death of Sylvia Anna. Our Duquesa's sister. Get kinda anxious when my life's on the line. Your life was never threatened. The court considered various punishments. The death sentence was not among them. Wasn't in attendance, so I wouldn't know. You are in Toussaint, where the rule of law holds. We do not allow lynchings here. And every case is analyzed in minutest detail. The facts are as follows. You were hired to kill the beast, 
Not only did you fail in that endeavor, but you also caused the death of our Duquesa's sister. Have I missed anything? I'll have you know that were it up to me, you would rot in our dungeon until your dying day. Glad you didn't have the deciding vote then. At any rate, I am not the best person to tell you what was decided in your matter. I'd say the man who worked hardest to tip the scales in your favor should. What are you talking about? What man? Dandelion? Sheesh, Geralt. You look like you've seen a ghost. A ghost wouldn't have surprised me half this much, I promise you. What are you doing in Beauclair? Officially? Visiting Honorietta. That is to say, the Duchess. We're old friends, ah, but you know that. Unofficially, I'm saving your Heine. You? You're a persona non grata in Toussaint. Undesirable. Didn't stop me from risking my skin for you. In my book, friendship is all that matters. Well, friendship and love. And art. Oh, and wine. How'd you even know I was in prison? Regis came to see me right after they locked you up. I mean, Regis, right? <laughs> Can you believe that? To come back after... Amazing. He told me everything, and naturally, I couldn't possibly leave you to rot in there. Take it I'm free, thanks to you. How do you manage it? Oh, I have my ways. Took a little persuasive logic, blended in some deft rhetoric, then added a generous pinch of charm, and voila! You're free! Mind being just a little more specific? Geralt. You were summoned here to hunt down and destroy the Beast of Beauclair. You undeniably did just that. Facts spoke for themselves, by and large. Then why the hell they throw me in prison? Specifically? Due to the Duchess's sister's untimely demise. But I convinced Honorietta to treat that as a separate matter. After all, your contract said nothing about protecting Siana. Thus, you will not only keep your vineyard, but you'll also receive a portion of the remuneration you're owed for killing the Beast of Beauclair. Dandelion, you're one clever little rascal. I'd do anything for a friend. And voila! You're free! But just so you know, it wasn't easy. In fact, it was pretty damn hard. Duchess was so furious, I think she even forgot she'd banished me from Beauclair. For life! All she could do was scream that you'd never set foot outside that dungeon again. How'd you get her to take a fresh look at things? I appealed to the faultless intentions that guided you, to your reputation, your accomplishments, and... Well, ultimately, she changed her mind, and you're free. Never wants to see you again, but even got her to leave your vineyard with you. You won't get a copper of your promised reward, but you'll keep your estate. Dandelion, you're a regular master of diplomacy. Thanks. Listen, you do whatever needs doing, but I've got to get to the cemetery. Honorietta's in bad shape with Siana dead. Some folk forget that under the ducal regalia, she's just an ordinary woman who's lost a loved one. Been meaning to ask you, how's Priscilla? All right. Recovering steadily from the horror she's been through. So, you two, you're still... Of course we are! How could you even think it was otherwise? No idea. Just within the realm of possibilities. But please be careful not to lead Anna Henrietta on. Suggest you've come here for any reason beyond getting me out of my predicament. The bond between the Duchess and myself is one of pure friendship, nothing more. Now, off to console a friend in need. All right. See you later. See you, Geralt. Off we go. You'll collect your things at the door. Follow me to the exit. Okay. 
Your things are past the front of the gate. They can leave them. I don't really give a fig. Don't smile so wide. Someone's liable to see. Could mean trouble. I can't help myself. Just so glad to see you. Glad to see you too, my vampire friend. Thanks for getting Dandelion to come out. It was nothing. True, he was not at first terribly eager to face the Duchess, but I managed to persuade him his person was indispensable. Well played. Dandelion loves being indispensable. Yet he so rarely is, poor man. What did you do while I, uh... While you vegetated in that correctional facility? I used the time to think. Wish to know what I thought about. Of course. The relationship between two numbers. Declaf's four victims and the five chivalric virtues. As you've no doubt noted, there's a difference of one. Mean to tell me, after all we've figured out, that you now believe in the whole five virtues punished theory? Belief's got nothing to do with it. It's cold logic, deduction. Siana went to great lengths to make folk believe the beast was punishing those who betrayed the virtues. Were I in her shoes, I'd make sure the number of victims matched. Are you not at all curious who was meant to be the fifth? If I say yes, what then? Then you'll come with me for another chat with the boot black. You see, I've learned he delivered the notes to Detlaf. Our search starts with him. Fine, see what he has to say. Could use a good walk, work out the kinks if nothing else. Come then. <laughs> 